Hey, what's up everybody? It's Matt from Rocky's War Room. And tonight I have another Let's Build video of the Bormite Heavy Support Team with Mag Mortar for the game Beyond the Gates of Antares, a 28mm sci-fi miniatures game by Warlord Games. Uh, now these are the Bormites. It's a rather large weapon and a mag mortar, so it's a mortar. Uh, you can see the rounds there. We'll take a look at the back of the box here. You can kind of get a closer look at it. It just looks awesome. Uh, the iconic mag gun... Um, look at the front of the gun there. Uh, I mean, this is like the X-Howitzers or equivalent. Um, <clears throat> gives you a little description of what's on the box. It's a heavy support team with a mag mortar and three crew and one Bormite sp spotter drone. So we have the spotter drone, we have the three crew, we have the, <clears throat> the uh, reloader. Looks like the sergeant telling you where to go. And uh, a spotter, he's howling out, fire! So... Really cool kit. Really excited about putting this sucker together. Let's open the box. Take a look at what's in there. Now, in every one of these resin kits, it's resin and metal. You get one of these sheets that tell you how to contact Warlord and how to clean the resin kits. Uh, if you don't, um, if this is uh, this is helpful, if you want to see a video on it, I've done a video on it. Just look in my playlist on how to clean Warlord resin. So, we have the resin piece. Open that right up. Very nice looking. God, all the resin is very clean. Uh, just a, a few uh, injection points to cut off there, which is no big deal. You can be rough with that because it's going to sit into a stand, I'm assuming. Wow. That's beautiful. That's going to look great. Awesome. So that's your resin piece you got to clean. All right. Thank you, Ronnie, for uh, packing this for me. <clears throat> we got a large base that the mortar goes on. Sponge. Oh, there's another resin piece in there. Looks like the stand is resin as well. It's going to fit in there nicely. That looks really nice. A little bit of flash to clean up, but that's no big deal. Uh, wow, that actually looks really good. Uh, sand this down a little bit. So this will fit inside there. And we got the metal pieces. I'm assuming that's going to be the guys, the crewmen, and the spotter drone here okay all right so yep here's our spotter drone we have five bases here uh for three guys <laughs> uh looks like a hatch of some kind oh it goes on the back there maybe yeah it does from the looks of it and we got a little radio there <clears throat> so we have the spotter drone we have the the reload shot that he carries in his hand right here so we'll cut that off we'll put that on Get a little bit of a close-up here, right here. There he is. And then we got this guy here. He's sitting on the neck, another round from the looks of it, which is pretty cool. He's got his little lens. That's going to look out in that. That's going to look awesome. Here's a guy screaming, fire! <laughs> Here's another look at the hatch that we're going to put on the machine itself. So there you go. That's everything right there. Uh, not a lot to this kit. Um, for the most part, it looks like it's pretty much put together, um, but uh, I will go ahead and do that. Here's a here's where they put the shot, I believe. Yep, it fits in there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I really like that. I'm guessing we're going to put a hatch on it, or we can leave the hatch open. Uh, we'll take a look at it. We'll kind of maybe do some modeling with this one. Um, so what I got to do is I got to clean this resin first, and I'm going to go do that now. And I'll show you the guys the tools I'm going to use, and then we're going to build this, and I'll be back to tell you how it went. I'll be right back.
All right, so there you have it. There's the Boramite Heavy Support Team with Mag Mortar. Uh, it was actually a really easy kit to put together, uh, especially for a resin metal kit. Um, it's two-piece resin. It's the gun. It's the holder for the gun, and you just glue, glue it on there. It's really simple. There's not a lot of flash on it. You just got to remember to cut off all the injection points on the bottom of this. I'd recommend sanding it down and cutting the injection points off the bottom of this uh, this piece right here before gluing it to the base. And uh, <clears throat> it sits off the ground. So um, I put glue underneath. Uh, you didn't need it. You just kind of need it on the bottom of these um, uh, legs here. That's about it right there when you pour, you put it on the base. Also got this really awesome detail on the inside of the uh, the hatch where they, they put the round in. You can actually leave this door off, this little hatch off, and here we go, and paint it, and and paint it up, and leave it off the, uh, the, the or on the thing, leave it from being glued. Um, you might be able to get a magnet in there. I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, it stays on pretty well. Um, but you could paint this separate from the actual mag mortar itself and just take that off to see the inside detail, put the hatch on the ground or something when you're not, you know, they're, when they're using it, just a cool added piece that they, they added to it, whether you, you want it closed open, or if you just want to take it off during battle when they, after they shot to remind yourself that you already, you know, uh, shot it or, or what have you. So that's a cool detail because besides, I mean, I wouldn't want to glue the hatch on there and miss out on that detail that's on the inside there. So uh, we got the loader. He's got the next round. This actually fit pretty tight um, inside his hands, which was awesome because it held it there until the glue dried. <clears throat> of course, we got the spotter drone. And uh, I know a lot of people, I, I glued it to the stand. I know a lot of people don't do that. It's fine because these... Uh, flight stands here, if you get some paint on them, it's real easy to clean it off um, with a wet rag, believe it or not. You just kind of tape this off, tape your base off, and you can wipe off all the paint off this clear thing and get it nice and clean after you've finished painting it. So that doesn't concern me because I'm used to doing that. <laughs> uh, I made a mistake once and had to get it off and it worked. So um, <clears throat> this guy, you just glued him to the base. Looks like we got a little bit of flash. We got a sand off on his base right here, but that's no big deal. I'll do that before I... Uh, last looks before I paint and then he had to glue his hand on um, <clears throat> uh, the, the hand with his uh, little radio um, or targeting system or whatever is in his hand there uh, just put some glue on the inside of the hand Not, don't do what I did in the video and put it on the out the uh, the hump because it runs and then it sticks to your fingers uh, put it on the inside of the hand and it fits over the top of that you just kind of hold it there like this I, I recommend holding it down and it goes together fairly well but, uh, but that's it. It's a really cool looking kit. I'm really excited about this. Uh, I'm going to see what it does. See if I can't pop, pop a whole entire <laughs> unit of Isaurians or hit a face sniper with this and see what happens. So, uh, looking forward to that. So that's it. That's all I got for you guys. I appreciate you sticking in there for me. Uh, thank you so much. If you haven't, if you've subscribed, if you haven't, please do, uh, please tell a friend, spread the word for me. I'd appreciate it. Like this video Leave me some comments. Tell me what you think of this kit. And last but not least, from me to you, ta-ta, and we'll catch you in our next video.